Today we've got in here a BMW M135i, a 2013 model, 3 litre turbocharged motor. So we're going to upgrade this car today. We're going to do um, a few things on it. Firstly, we're going to take it for a dyno run and we're going to see what the car actually puts out now. Uh, and then we're going to bring it back to the workshop and we're going to be putting a new quaff diff into the rear end of the car. We're going to be bolting that in to the back end, which will take out the traction control. Uh, and it's a more solid car, it's solid differential, so it's more like a locker than anything. And we're also going to be piggybacking the uh, computer for software upgrade. So we're going to do those things today and then take it for another run. And then later on we've got a, um, an air filter, sports air filter induction coming. And we've got a muffler system coming as well, which we're going to dyno and see the improvements of everything as we go. All right, so I'll take this down to the dyno. Okay, so here we've got a BMW M135i the F20 series, 2013 model. We're actually replacing the differential with the new Quave diff here, which is a high performance diff. So um, in order to get this out, we've had to remove a numerous amount of heat shields, plus the exhaust, to show the tail shaft, which is here, which is connected to the diff. We have to take this 50 mil spline nut off, which will actually release it from the diff. There's a numerous amount of suspension arms, which is all these control arms, which have to be removed from the hub to actually, as you can see, move it up and down so we can get the drive shafts out of the diff, so then we can drop it safely and replace it with a new one. So final stage before dropping the diff out, we've uh, disconnected the tail shaft through the centre bearing and the spline which actually feeds into the diff, which is held in by this nut here, which spins onto this nut here. Um, drive shafts are out of the diff, so basically the diff is only being held up by the mount. All suspension components are disconnected, so all it takes is for us to drop the diff out, then we can start putting the new one back in.